my god, look at Hi YouTube family, hi, welcome back to my channel, welcome back to another video, if you're new here, my name is Barbara Birinji Bonimpa and this is Patience Ankonda and I'll be introducing her a little bit later on in detail, welcome back, subscribe, you know, watch the videos, so today I'm going to be launching a fitness series basically, <laughs> yes, fitness series, you know, that shall be I'm not full you yes but anyway so I'm launching a fitness series where I'm going to be sharing my weight loss journey as a person and my fitness journey and you know interacting with different people that have helped me along the way maybe they can help you too you can pick a tip or two or get inspired pick some motivation you know and a lot much more to learn so without wasting time let's get into the video this is patience I'm gonna introduce yourself please Mm -hmm. <laughs> thank you Barbara thank you so much for inviting me I'm so excited to be a part of this fitness series mm -hmm. um, I'm patient I'm Kunda computer science and I'm making a fitness junkie and just recently a certified health and nutrition coach I'm so excited for that fact yes um, I have a fitness um, accountability page on Instagram you can follow me at African Feet uh, as it is must be like yeah. drop down here so I just like help you or something. <laughs> <laughs> yes, yeah, so that's that's it from me. Yeah. So patience. I met patience a couple of years ago. We've been friends, and I used to tell her, "Oh my God, I want to work out." She plays squash too. Yeah. So I'm like, "I should come for squash training." You know, we always want to start, then you never start. So I was always in she and out. She never even sat in at ah. all. Not even <laughs> holding the. I think it was only at the office where like she held the ball and the racket. That's why it stopped. Oh my she never went to court. Yes, yes. Yeah. So I never reached that court. But I woke up one day and she was starting a fitness. Um, what do you call it? A fitness challenge. Twenty eight days. Yeah, twenty eight day fitness challenge and. It was locked down and I'm like, I'm sick and tired of starting. I don't start. And if you remember, beginning of lockdown, everyone was working out, everyone was jogging. So I was those people who the president was like, stop jogging. But thankfully, she was not the among the people no, who were on the bypass. No, not on the bypass. Not on the bypass. No, I had a self jogging <laughs> group, but that was guys, any too much. So I decided to just start and be consistent because at least over time in the other habits and other things I've done, I know. With consistency you actually achieve nothing comes easily or overnight and you people it's so easy to gain weight like i woke up and i was fat like i didn't seem but all today i've increased by i just woke up and i was chubby yeah and i feel good in my skin but i want to feel better for myself you know also for my health because i'm not growing any younger and i know that if i don't work out now with time all this tiny tiny habits i've been doing you know eating the foods i've been eating they catch up with you so you need to start i needed to start getting healthy right now yeah and make it a habit i'm also fall in love with it it's yeah. one of those things i'll be like it's oh my god i'm not passed out today i feel so very, bad very anyway so i'm going to be going through i'm going to be asking patients a few questions you know Pressure, relax <laughs> so i'll be asking her a few questions yeah, if you can relate, please let us know in the comments below if you've been in a similar situation, you know, if there are any tips that you have, share with us, you know, if you pick something, I don't know, basically share with us your thoughts and what you think. And don't before forget. we even proceed, mm. just subscribe, then hit yeah. that button down subscribe. there, and notification also, it's here, it's down. Yeah. It's down here. Yeah, somewhere down there. <laughs> so subscribe, I'm going to leave her, um, she'll tell you more about her you know what she's doing and how she's helping others people like me i mean right now you people i can wake up and work out on my own like <laughs> empowerment yeah on my empowerment. own so that's what i'm all about yeah let's get into the questions let's get into the question hmm what do i start with so for starters tell us about your weight loss journey when was that point when you decided that i need to do this i need to lose weight i need to you know get fit for myself and why well for starters i have not always been the fittest or been 
my ideal weight or um, being small but um all through my life since i was like i think i remember like when i was 10 years at p5 i mm-hmm. felt so insecure about my body i think hormones were just kicking in mm-hmm. um i felt fat i felt my thighs were so big there's actually a night when i wanted to cut off my thighs like as young and then what? i just cried i wanted to cut off my thighs like it was so devastating i used to like Pray to God that someday I just wake up and I am small. You know, like back in primary, we just felt like small was the thing, like being thin, yeah? So I felt really out of place at school and I just wanted God to just perform this miracle for me. Because, you know, like in movies, they make it seem so Mm -hmm. possible. So at that time, I thought like, you know what? I'm going to dream, I'm going to make wishes and God is just going to grant me this. But every morning I'd wake up and still something, I'd cry before I go to school, you know, putting on that dress and bring all these tatters on your stomach yeah. and then you put on those PE shorts and as you're walking, just walking and the thing is like going up your thighs, I felt so bad. But the story continued even in high school. Like it even became worse than um the freedom of like getting buying your own things, mm. the freedom you have your own money. Yeah. So you know you'd be at the canteen the whole time, the whole I grew fat. I, I think my weight just kept on like okay. by two kilograms yeah. every time. By two dollars. There, there was no time when it was like sixty six, sixty seven, sixty it was like 66, 68, 70, 72, like it was in twos and it was so frustrating. And back from school, of course you're reduced weight, but then by the time you go back to school, you've gained because you know, yeah. food at home is mm. another story. But then um, all through, since primary, since high school, I was playing sports. And you'd think that the sports would like do something for me, yeah? Mm. But it never did. Like, I, I'm, I'm active in sports, yes. But I don't feel like intentional with the sports in losing weight. So what the sports was doing for me really was to prevent me from my weight was preventing my weight from escalating. I think if I wasn't involved in sports, I think I would reach even 80 kilograms. So um, back in uh, 2019, um, 2019, 2018, I think when I traveled to the UK and came back, I hit 75, and I was like, what? You know that realization. Like, Oh my god, what have I been doing? I just spent like a week and a half in the UK and I've gained like four oh, kilograms. Oh my god, it was so devastating. I was like, no. But of course, that was the end of, of, of the year, 2018, come 2019, New Year resolution. Mm-hmm. I'm going to lose weight. I'm going to do all this thing. I'm going to do exercises. Yeah. And you know, when we make those New Year's resolutions, we never fall through with them. Yeah. So of course, that was at the New Year's. And then later during the year, it's, I guess, you know, let I was so comfortable with my life. I was like, you know what? I'm not going to have all those things. I just want to keep playing my sports. I just want to, you know, keep doing yeah. my thing. But then I think in May, May last year, I decided, you know what? Let me change what I'm eating. But now when I change what I'm eating, I stopped being very active with sports. Like, I'm not really very, very active. So I did lose like three kilograms. I went from 75 to like 72. And that was what I was the year before, like for the whole year, it was just 72, 71, 72, 71. But then I wanted to make a change. I didn't even think it was possible. Um, so I changed what I was eating. I remember when I used to come to office and have all these sandwiches and whatnot. And I was like, hey, mama, she's eating healthy, <laughs> but hey, I was not like intentional now on my exercises. So yeah. the eating just did really toil, yeah? didn't mm. do so much. So then, um, my cousin's wedding came in September 2019 and I put on that dress and I just, you know, you, you know, you look good, eh? but, but you don't feel yeah, it. I just yeah. did not feel it. I was like, you know what? I don't want this feeling ever again. Like never. Like you put on a dress. Yeah. And then your stomach is all like up there. Up there. And then like there's that cup lying look, down there yes. in your belly and you're like, man, <laughs> I know, I know we look good. That face is D, you are those things, but no, mm. I did not feel good. And then I had to travel again. I came back, I still gained weight. Like, ah, it was so stressful. But then um, in October, I was like, you know what, enough is enough. I settled down at school. I was like, you know what, this is it. Mm. I have the money that I needed to now go to the gym. I found a gym around university, Uganda Christian University. Shout out to y'all. <laughs> I found yeah, a gym, 5,000 for students. Yeah. Very well equipped. Um, the ambience is so nice. The atmosphere, like everything is just so nice and it's very well equipped. Mm-hmm. And then um, I purchased things that I needed to eat. Like now I was eating between May and September. Now I 
went ahead with that at university and then within like three weeks i think three weeks two weeks four weeks changes were there like i became intentional with my journey and i saw that you know what it's not just about eating alone and mm. then exercising alone you have to balance that too you have to balance that yeah, too yeah. they go hand in hand mm. by me changing what i was eating and then being intentional with my exercises i did see the results and there's only one solution there's only one equation to weight loss the less calories you take and the more you burn because weight loss that was it so i just you know that whole realization was yeah. like oh my god like it now makes so much sense because on Instagram you see these many fitness inspirations that lost yeah. all this weight and they're saying they've taken like two years. It was until like I I got comfortable with the fact that it may take me like two years yeah. actually which I want to go. That's when you know things started. I'm okay with what with my progress, but when we want quick results, we get very disappointed and just jump yeah. off the journey. So I'm comfortable knowing that probably it will take me like two years two or years. so, three years. But <laughs> I have so much to look forward to and now it is just moving forward like ever since then i've not looked back yeah not these, these things you see online lose weight seven no. weeks you too. i lost 10 <laughs> kilograms the natural way that's How long? it um so for the from 75 yeah. to 72 71 it was from like may till because that's the food may till like september yeah and then i remember um when I started my, when I was intentional with my journey, I was mm-hmm. like 72 there. Mm-hmm. And then by the end of the year, of course, I, it was now, it was October. So I was like, maybe at the end of the year, at least I should have lost like one kilogram. Because I didn't think it was possible <laughs> to even lose more. By the end of the year, I reached 66. 66. I was like, that's mm. like, that's a lot. From that's 72 lot. to 66, yeah. it was a lot. Yeah. Then January came, I reached, I think was it like, I think by February I reached 64. I saw 64 on the weight scale one day. I didn't believe it. But then we went for lockdown. <laughs> <laughs> and the food at home. I'm sorry to plan the food at home. But that was the only time I saw the 64. And now I'm, it's like I'm just maintaining my weight. And now I've been like 66, 67 <laughs> since then. Like 66, 67. No, we all went through that beginning of lockdown. Because we're not yeah. used to like staying at home and exactly. eating and not doing all these other yeah. things that we do in our busy lives. Yeah. So that's it. That's it, Jess. Yeah. Well done. It's fine, guys. So all you like, you guys, you need to know it takes time. It really does. This thing, I, I am those people who have searched on YouTube how to lose weight, and you find videos start with "drink this, you will lose weight overnight." Like lose belly fat in fourteen days, and you think it's going to just do this exercise like that. and you lose that weight. weight. No, it doesn't work like that. No. It's a process. It's a journey. Yeah. Yeah, so we're going to get more into what she's been doing, you know, now you know what, how long it's taken her and she's mentally ready for that journey and how long it's been. So the sun is blessing us, it's coming to golden hour, so you know, it even look brighter. So moving on to the next question, um, like I told you earlier, I uh, was part of the 28 day challenge, her first, what do you call it, premiere, first First premiere, the first edition, 20, of, yeah, yes, the first, edition. the first lot of people that she helped with uh, working out and you know the fitness program, and it really helped me, you guys. Like I said, I'm able to work out on my own right now, which is so new to me, the previous me, but current me. So, patience, uh, can you tell us how you're helping people? What inspired you to help others? And basically, just starting because I know so many other people who actually do work out. And they post on Instagram, post on Snapchat, post everywhere, I'm working out, but I mean, it takes it has to take something to actually be like, I'm going to be out there and help other people, you know, and also tell us more about, you know, your, is it a company now? Yeah, it's definitely a company. Yeah, it's now a company, Africa yeah. indeed. Yes. So tell us more about that. So, um, at first I started out with trying to find a way of being consistent on my end because that's something that we all struggle with so that's why i formed my instagram page um when i decided to be intentional with my journey mm-hmm. i say you know what i'm going to be recording my last set of every exercise i do and then share it so it sort of like built up the excitement actually work out because i knew i was going to post and then so it helped me like build my consistency at the end mm-hmm. of the day i was like you know what? i said i'm going to work out i'm going to go to the gym mm-hmm. i go i record my last set so even recording the last set you know when we're doing that last set you feel like 
I really need to do it. I think I've done enough already. Yeah. But then um, recording would actually push me to even do more because I know like, oh, someone may be watching this and they get mm-hmm. inspiration from me. Mm-hmm. So when I got like messages from people asking me about what I'm doing, how I've gone about it, how mm-hmm. I'm staying motivated, I tell you, you know what? I'm I think this what I'm doing is actually a good thing and it mm-hmm. was inspired also from the people who inspired me of course scrolling through Instagram yeah. there's so many fake people and then there are those really really like real people yeah. so I found this person who like she just inspired so many people like so many she shows you she showed us her journey when she began like those first days when she was struggling mm-hmm. and I said you know what I need to be like her I want people to see where I've started from show yes. my authenticity as opposed to just coming up and just showing my final phase like oh before oh, yeah. and after like yeah. I don't know I feel like the other way sort of like builds credibility on my end so following her she's called Thick Beauty Thick I think Thick, thick Fit Queen something like that on, on Instagram I've forgotten her name but then um she inspired me I got into one of her programs she had like some programs that she was also like running some of them would be competitions others were coaching so I got into her programs and she, she sort of like taught me what she does in a way yeah. so having seen like she was sharing with us what worked for her and then it eventually also worked for me yeah so i didn't want just to this information on my mm-hmm. own like okay it's working out for me and then people come asking me what is you know what yeah. is making these changes like everyone is not seeing like i've lost the weight you know things are fitting like, no. <laughs> better and stuff like that so yeah. i said you know what let me also do this but for my local people, like for my people at home, because yeah. she's in USA, um, we speak virtually, but then bringing something like closer to people, like her program, like closer here would be best. But of course, then I need for the Ugandan vibe, because our things are sort of like different from yeah. that side. So that's what brought me to, to start African Feet. Um, so yeah, African Feet just took over from my Instagram fitness page yeah. and branded it, you know, at African Feet. Afro, I think it's like it speaks for itself. Yeah, uh, I wondered why. You know, <laughs> I, I, I just decided to go to, to <laughs> what they call it. I just said go Afro um, yeah. recently, and I've loved my Afro look. So I say, you know what? It's also like African feet. That is so cliche, African. Yeah. I know Afro, and then Afro. It was gonna be like Afro feet. And I was like. No, Afro is the identity of Africans. Yeah, yeah. it's only Africans and African Americans or anyone with African identity that can yeah. be able to pull off the Afro. And I'm like, you know what? <laughs> Afro speaks for itself. Afro is African, so Africans mm. can be fit. So Afro can be fit. Can be fit. So African Afro fit. can fit. African so it, it's all like just makes sense. Yeah, so yeah, Afro yeah. can fit. <laughs> that's that's it. That's it for my business. I hope to grow it to um, inspire quite an. A huge number of women and anyone who just wants to get started on their weight loss journey so yeah. like give them my perspective of things to show them where i've started and where i'm heading to because i'm still in the process i mean you see me here but i still have like, <laughs> i still have those things that i'm still thing. working on them but you know i'm just enjoying the process i'm embracing the process yeah. and i'm just trying to show people that it, it takes love and dedication for the process to reach where you want to mm-hmm. and that's like that's what african faith is Okay, so what are your plans for African Kids? I mean, yeah, basically. Because I've jumped onto one of the programs, the 28 Day Challenge, and when we were done, you launched another 28 Day Challenge. So, yeah. are you going to keep doing this with different sets of people? I don't know. Basically, what are your plans for African Kids? So, I want to take um, African Fit to another level into coaching, like direct coaching. Yeah. For now, I've been doing like this group, it was a group sort of thing. I'll continue with the group coaching of sort, but then I want to also now get into the one-on-one, like if someone has like a specific like goal that they want to reach, um, I tell like, a program for you, um, I share with you resources, tips, I just be like some sort of like guidance. Um, when I just recently finished my certification on health and nutrition, there's a lot that I learned, even so many things. I had to unlearn things that I thought I had yeah, to know yeah. but then I, I've learned so many things that I'm really excited to share with people like I, I'm just going to be like a one-on-one mentor for weight loss because I'm going to be focusing on weight loss yeah. as opposed to like the general 
bodybuilding, um, yeah, bodybuilding right. stuff. I'm yeah. just gonna be a mentor and accountability partner, accountability mm. coach, yeah. um, just to guide you, support you, listen to your challenges, yeah. help you make these um, lifestyle and behavior changes because it's 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 a journey. You don't just wake up one day and you're like, you know what? I'm going to just start being okay. It, it takes a process. You need to learn the process, the changes, the small changes you have to keep making. So yeah. that it, you make like a lasting impact for yourself, not these temporary things. So that's like one aspect of African fit is the accountability coaching. And then there's the group, the group coaching, which is like there'll be like a challenge and then whoever wants to jump onto the challenge. So this is a group thing. Yeah. Mm. Once in a while I will throw in some tips and stuff, but then the community that is built around the challenges, the people there themselves are giving um, a lot of advice, encouragement. Yeah. People have been sharing like <laughs> their wins, people have been losing like five exactly. kilograms, ten so kilograms. I may mean, even believe it I'm like <laughs> what? My program is actually working for these people. Yeah. And like people have been motivating themselves. So like mm. there's going to be that group thing um, where you could sign up for a challenge. Hopefully there will be like um, prizes coming yeah. soon. So when you jump onto a challenge, having a prize sort of like also pushes you to yes. you know because I've been there, I've participated in some challenges and money. Then money, there's a way it motivates you. There's I a way, there's a way prizes motivate you. <laughs> but of course, even though. if you don't win, at the end of the day, you've mm-hmm. you've still like reached a point of consistency that you want yeah. to continue with, and that's what's like that was the biggest prize for me when I took part in those challenges. Like you know what, the money is just a bonus. Like mm-hmm. if I actually do like have the best transformation, then it's just a bonus to like mm-hmm. help me with my journey. Maybe like purchase like yoga mats or resistance bands and stuff like that. But even if I don't, mm-hmm. it's it's sort of like pivoting me towards the next level of my journey. So yeah. So apart from the group coaching and accountability one on one, then there's apparel. I will be having my own fitness accessories coming through with my mm-hmm. own brand. And some will have quality. So my things are going to be. Cool. Quality soon okay. to be launched. Um, <laughs> so just keep watch, keep watch. Yeah. Okay. So now I think the last question we have today is, yeah, let us get into the myths and tips that. Okay. I don't know. Do we start with myths or the tips that you can? I think let's start with the myths. Okay. Yeah. What myth do you have? Like, you know, <laughs> you know, like any like any that you've had about like weight loss or diet um like. i feel like okay i don't know if this is a myth yeah. i'm not a fitness expert yeah but you know there's this whole thing about lemon water where people feel like they're only going to drink lemon water every day for the rest of their lives and lose 10 kilograms in one week or lose five kilograms in one week i mm. tried it it did not work for me nah. so i i think that it's is a myth. definitely a myth like <laughs> honestly there's like i mentioned before there's only one equation to losing mm. weight you first of all you cannot spot reduce weight yeah it goes generally you can't spot reduce fat sorry not weight because weight is weight is a composition of muscle and then fat and then you have water retention so water weight so the weighing scale is actually not even the best way to measure your progress it's best to use the measuring tape so if you can invest in a measuring tape then good for you but a weighing scale has so many variations one day you step on it and you're 60 the next day you're back to 62 and then you're like oh my god i've gained so much weight but yeah. you know, it could be because of the water retention. Like this, there is so much to wait, but then the measuring tape never lies. Your either used or you'll be increased. So, so invest in that. Actually yeah. lie. But when it comes to weight loss, there's only one equation. You have to burn more than you consume. Water. Lemon water, yes, it's very good. It does have <laughs> it does have other importances that can work for your body. You know, you're giving yeah. your body nutrients, mm. but it is not um you can't rely on it for your yeah. You're going to be heavily disappointed. That's what I can say. But is there any other myth? I don't know, maybe myth, things people have told you, or things that yeah. you've tried and actually you thought that you had to announce certain things. Oh, yeah, I thought that yeah. you'd only lose weight in the gym. <laughs> My friend. The gym, enter the gym, by the way, is only for people who are, who have like a specific program they're following yeah. and who want to, let's say, gain weight or like use weight weight yeah because i feel like you would be doing yourself justice if you paid for gym membership and use the weights not just yeah. go to the gym and do things that you can actually do from home mm. but then like i used to think that you could only lose weight in the gym yes i did lose weight from the gym but due to the quarantine period i've actually learned to embrace home workouts like yeah. working out from home 
All I need is my fitness accessories. I just need my resistance bands, my skipping rope, and my mentality, and I'm good to go. Like, I, I think homeworkers, like, I don't know if I'm going to go back to the gym. Unless I'm going to be growing my booty. <laughs> that's the only thing that's going to take me to the gym. I wonder if I'm going to be everything from home. Who procrastinated my weight loss journey say I have to save up for gym membership no. and I actually walk to like five gyms Can same month which are is close at home then they're like no. 150 per month no. then I'm like but this month I'm going to be busy I don't know if I'll max out you know it's basically your mind like yeah. I, I was limiting myself like right now I have my yoga mat I have my two kilogram weight I have my yeah. skipping group and it's, unless, it's unless you're actually going, <laughs> I'm it's good. unless you're actually going to use the weight. And yeah. I advise you to go to the gym. The gym is a very slow place. Yeah. Also, if you're going for like aerobics classes, those yeah. those group classes, yes, the gym is very very necessary for that. But like, if you're just going to go and do like skipping mm-hmm. in the gym, mm-hmm. maybe unless you don't have the skipping rope at home, <laughs> if you're going to go and do sit ups or like crunch, hey, there's so many things you can do at home. Shots? No, seriously, <laughs> you spend a lot of money in the gym, and you yeah. don't even use that gym membership to like mm. cater for all your needs if you want to go to the gym go there to lift weights and also don't go to every machine you have to have a plan yeah have a plan for yourself yeah maybe the other myth is is what is doing sit-ups to reduce your stomach, your stomach. ah so it's a lie that it's a lie let me tell you <laughs> let me tell you guys all the sit-ups are doing for you is building your abdominal muscles. It's just only building, like those isolated workouts, the squats, the yeah, um, yeah. abs. They're yeah. just like building the muscle. Yeah. But if the muscle is hiding under the fat, so unless you're making changes to reduce your fat, the oh, fat's yeah. not going to go. Yes, you'll be building your abs, but they're mm. going to be hidden by the fat. That makes There's sense. only one way to reduce your weight, and that is by doing cardiovascular exercise things that get your heart rate up yeah. to the extent that fat starts to get burnt so skipping mm. um heat workouts um sprints those are like the three most effective ways to burn fat because fat fat goes all over what are it's heat workouts over. for those who don't know what they also are. heat workouts are high intensity interval training mm. so you're basically work you're, you're basically doing an exercise for like a certain period of time so let's say 30 seconds yeah and then you rest for like 30 seconds then again 30 seconds so within the 30 seconds when you're working you do as many reps as possible so it's like do as many as you can within this short period of time so there's a way that it does get your heart rate up in the mm. process and then you know in addition to that apart from like helping you burn fat it's also helping you retain your muscle because the thing is if you're only doing cardio like the running on the treadmill you're going to end up also losing your muscle and that's mm. why people end up being so slim like yeah like they've become malnourished all of a sudden yeah. it's because they're just focusing on cardio they've been on the treadmill for one full hour for a for like five days away yeah. you're burning your muscles out because when we are when we're exercising the fat is going and the muscle is going so you want to retain your muscle mm. and burn fat and mm. muscle actually having a lot of muscle does help you burn fat so you want to retain muscle mm-hmm. if you do heat workouts you're creating muscle but burning fat in the process as well so it's like it's it it, it just tackles everything even skipping mm. or something so yeah <sighs> guys it's been a heck of a discussion right. i hope you guys picked something yeah. if you want more information let us know if you want another video maybe if, you know we, we don't mind we can really do yeah, we don't one, mind. give you more I information mind. maybe let us know what specific things you want to know about or things you want to learn about and also you can reach her at african fit on instagram on her socials you know dm her i'll leave an email a link down in the description link i was part of the 28 day program and having an accountability partner was really helpful you know helping you be consistent yeah, being consistent because i had to actually send a picture of my food for the day mm-hmm. send a picture after i have worked out yeah. every day yeah, or even a video while i'm sweating you know yeah. so there are days where i woke up and i was like ah, what do i job when I'm like, ha, I have to send a picture. But then I can't be in the same t-shirt like yesterday. And she will notice. 
So I had to get out, work out, and you yeah. know you have to be also honest with yourself. Yeah, at the end of the day, you have to be honest with yourself. Be willing. To be be willing. willing. And it starts with you. Like you just have to make up. Because I, I only do so much. Like I'm mm-hmm. just there to hold you accountable, but all the yeah. work is done there. Yeah. yeah. You will see the results you want to see as much yeah. as you put in the work. That's, That's true. It. So don't forget to subscribe. We're going to be running a fitness series, some fast African fit. I'll be hosting someone else next Wednesday and another Wednesday. And when the fitness series is done, I'll be launching another series of something. You know, I realized I was I have so many resources around me that I am using. And it would be good to give back to my YouTube family, to people out there, you know, share this information. Because I did the 28th day, I could have actually filmed the whole entire time and shared this information then, but then I just didn't kind of. So I was like, hey, why don't I share this information? Because it would help someone out there. So yeah, let me know if you're interested in the fitness series, if I should do another one. And yeah, also you can, because I'm going to say. Ah, no, that's why I can just enjoy the conversation. I even forgot, wait, I had some notes here. No, but basically, thank you for watching the video. Subscribe, you know, support African feed. Click really the link good. and follow me. Yes, follow her, follow her That's fitness important. page, jump onto her programs, they're really helpful. I was those people, you know, actually after the 28 day fitness, they're like during the 28, I think there's a period of two weeks where I felt a difference in here. And then it's like the next week, it had again just like pfft. Even yeah. I lost it as I like, what's the point? I have continue being Yeah, like what's this? So I didn't know that okay, now I know you have to be ready. It will take a while, like two years, a year, yeah. six months, it's different. So I'm just also doing the bare minimum. Small activities and like build up because it's a little habit. Wake yeah. up, you know, work out for thirty minutes. Yeah, you know. Yeah, 30, minutes. thirty. You can even okay. do twenty. Twenty. As long as like you just have to be consistent yeah. in what you do. So if you're going to work out, keep working out. You know, even if you're going to eat that, you know, cheat meal <laughs> or you're going to eat that junk. <laughs> you know, it, just, it helps that you actually live an active life. Because at the end of the at the end of the day, you want to live a healthy lifestyle. So and that is like that is defined by how active you are physically and also what you consume. So I have one last question. How many cheat days do you have in a week? I have like two. And two cheat days. What do you? What? what do anything you I want. <laughs> anything that chicken has craving. Mm. That you know. That pie. That I don't know. Whichever. Whatever I feel like taking. Mm. I, I do go for two it. Two cheat days. Yeah. Okay. 